Over 1,900 people have a heart attack each day. The effects can be devastating and even lead to death. Now, February is National Heart Health Month, and joining me is one of our favorite cardiologists, Dr. John Kennedy. Welcome back to the show. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for having me back. You bet, you bet. And with statistics like that, it's important to be prepared. Mm -hmm. And today, we're gonna to talk about the most simple thing you can do to improve your chances of survival. Well, we know the human heart continuously pumps blood throughout the body, but a blockage can cause a heart attack. So why don't you explain why that sometimes happens? Coronary artery disease is the most common cause of a heart attack. And what happens is over time, plaque builds up inside the blood vessel wall. And that's composed of fibrous tissue, which is like scar tissue, mm -hmm. cholesterol. That weakens the blood vessel wall and makes it prone to rupture or tear. And then our body actually tries to compensate by forming a clot and blocking off the blood vessel, decreasing blood flow, which decreases flow to the heart muscle and causes a heart attack. Knowing the symptoms of a heart attack can increase your chances of survival. So let's talk about those warning signs. You know, a person may experience pressure, tightness or aching in the chest, nausea, heartburn, shortness of breath, fatigue, dizziness, and cold sweats. Now, as a cardiologist, who do you think is most at risk for this to happen? That's a great question, Jim. And those at highest risk are those with high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, obesity, those that are physically inactive and have a really stressful lifestyle. And two more big ones, smoking and family history. A heart attack can strike even the most active and healthy individuals without warning. So Dave is here in our audience and now you have a very interesting story of survival. I'm a uh, retired commercial airline pilot. I've always lived a very active lifestyle, and about three years ago, I had a heart attack while I was skiing. You didn't think you were at risk at all. Heart attack was the furthest thing from my mind. Uh, matter of fact, when the event happened, I thought it was indigestion, but it wasn't. It, in fact, was a heart attack. So what happened next? I was right close to the bottom, and I had a ski partner, and he saw that I was in trouble. And he called over a couple of ski patrollers, and they had this uh, life-saving product called Urgent RX Critical Care Aspirin. Uh, they assessed my situation, laid me down on the ground, and poured this product uh, right down my mouth while we waited for the ambulance. And that bought me some very much needed, valuable time, and I survived the heart attack. Well, that's amazing. That's how lucky to have, you know, to have the ski patrol that close by. It really illustrates uh, how important it is to take an aspirin at the onset of your symptoms. You'll increase your chances of survival by 23%. Anyone who's at risk or over the age of 45 should carry the doctor-recommended dose of 325 milligrams of aspirin at all times. They should take it immediately at the first sign of symptoms. It's the simplest thing you can do to be prepared. And this is different than the 81 milligrams or the baby aspirin that we recommend for prevention. You know, an aspirin helps because it makes the blood platelets less prone to stick together and clot. And it can also prevent the formation of new blood clots. So when you have a heart attack, you want to get the blood flowing to the heart as quickly as possible. That's right. During a heart attack, um, every second counts. And it's why cardiologists always say time is muscle. It can be hard for someone to swallow or chew an aspirin during a heart attack. Urgent RX Critical Care Aspirin is a flavored powder that dissolves quickly and acts fast. And what I love about it is that it comes in a credit card size package that has the recommended dose, which is 325 milligrams, and it's, it fits in every purse and every wallet, and it's, I think, the most important thing you can do to be prepared. Be sure to always consult your physician with any concerns about your health, and call 911 if someone starts to have the symptoms of a heart attack. Dave, thanks for coming on the show. I'm glad everything came out okay. Keep skiing. Dr. Kennedy, thanks, as always. We'll be right back.